This is a tutorial in Microsoft Excel on how to make charts. So looking at, at Microsoft Excel, if you're not familiar with it, um, it's great for um, inputting data and then converting that data into that visual representation in the form of a chart. And so I'm just going to give you an example of what that could potentially look like. And so my data is going to be organized by month, um, so reporting frequency of monthly. Um, and the key performance indicator that I'm going to look at is no-show rate. Um, in this case, um, just as a quick tip, um, I'm going to put in January here. Um, but Excel is incredibly intuitive, and when you go over and you can see the bigger plus sign, and when you go into the very bottom right corner, you get this smaller plus sign, you can actually drag that, and it knows to put him in by month. And so I'm going to go down to December in this case. Um, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some fictitious data about what no-show rate was for these months. So inputting some data. And so um, in this case, I'll say 3%, 11 11%, 18%, 6%, 7%. And you can see it's already interpreted. I'm no longer putting in the percent sign. So it already knows that these are going to be in the form of percents um, based on what data I've already input. And so from here, now that I have all of my data input, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to highlight um, column A and then column B. And so just highlighting that information. And then I'm going to go over to the button Insert. And every version of Excel looks a little bit different, but uh, this version has a feature in here called Recommended Charts. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the Recommended Charts. And it's going to tell me, based on the data, that a run chart is a great visual for it. Um, and in this case, I would strongly agree. There are other types of um, data indicators um, in this case. Uh, so you can see bar charts, pie charts, and those types of things. But anytime you show rate, it's great to be able to see change over time um, because it allows that, that data to then jump out. And so in this case, I'm going to select a run chart, um, which again is great for rates. And so that gives me that information here. Um, so there's my, my visual. And then I could do all kinds of different things. So up here, it gives me all of these other format suggestions. And so if you kind of hover over them, you can see different examples. Um, I personally like this one um, that tells that gives you basically the data inside the visual. Um, so really allows you to be able to follow the data um, in terms of those trends. And so that's a good example there. And what is also nice is that you can add these other elements to the chart in this case. And so I'm going to click on, on Add Chart Element, and I'm going to actually click on to Trend Line and put in a linear trend line. And that's going to show us that over time, over this calendar year, um, that our no-show rate is climbing. Um, so it's a positive trend. And so in this case, then we can develop an intervention. Um, be able to collect the data. So we'll say we'll, we'll implement our intervention in January. We'll collect the data and then see what happens to no-show rate, see if it's if if we're still at, you know, right here, if we plateaued, or if we're able to reverse the trend and, and start to improve upon that metric. So hopefully the uh, information helps. But again, Excel is a really great uh, tool to be able to make charts.